musicians to fool them, they made a name for themselves fooling audiences around the world. Here to entertain and befuddle us, Penn and Teller. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how every magician tonight and every magician ever fooled you. That was by lying, cheating, swindling, and stealing. Those are the techniques that are used, and those techniques are all immoral unless they are done with consent. And as soon as you turned on your TV to see a show called Fool Us, full of magic tricks, you gave us your consent. But the moment anyone does those tricks out in the real world, even in a press conference, even on TV, where you're not claiming to do magic tricks, then it is immoral. And magicians are not the only ones that do this. These same techniques are used by criminals, and the government. <laughs> Probably the greatest magician of all time is a man by the name of Robert Houdin. He was a French magician in the 19th century. He worked at the Magic Theater in Paris, and he was completely moral for his entire career. But then he retired. And in 1856, Napoleon came to him and asked him to be immoral, asked him to do his magic tricks for people without their consent. At that time, France had colonized Algeria, and the Algerians were starting an uprising, being led by the medicine men. And Napoleon asked him if he could go down to Algeria and use tricks to show that French magic was more powerful than Algerian magic. Here's kind of the trick he did. And a couple of Algerian warriors, uh, second row, sir, how about you, right up here? And how about you in third row, sir, glasses right up here? See on either side right here. Romero Dan did a thing from his, uh, from his theater show called The Light Heavy Box. Just stand on that side there. Stand on this side right here. Now, uh, it was a very simple trick. Romero Dan just said, well, I, I can lift this box easily by myself, just like this. Then he said to the Algerian warriors, you guys are strong, and there's two of you. You can lift that box really easy. Don't lift too high. Lift you right about there. Right about there. Right about there. Yeah, I put it right back down. It's a pretty light box, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty easy to lift. But he did this in his magic act. He did it as a comedy routine. But in Algeria, at this point, he said, Mais non, vous êtes plus faible qu'une femme. Which means you are now weak as women. Which was insulting to Algerians in 1856 and is offensive to everybody in 2017. <laughs> now they're weak as women. He told them to try to lift the box again. Try to lift it again. No, guys, don't play along with me. You really lift it to about here. No, no, lift it. You're two guys, man. Lift it to about here. Lift about here. Right about here. Right about here. Here's all you got to do. Just about here. And then he said, but I am a French magician. I'm strong. I can lift it just like this. And then he said, you know, you guys, you're no longer weak as women. You can lift it easily right about to here. Put it right back down. That's nice and light and easy, isn't it? Yeah. Then he said, maintenant, vous êtes plus faible qu'une femme. You're now weak as women. Try to lift it again. No, guys, lift it. Lift it, guys, lift it. But you're no longer weak as women. Lift it now, right about to here. Really easy. And then he said, plus fable qu'une femme, you're weak as women. Try to lift it, right about to here. No, really try to lift it. Work together. Work together, gentlemen, work together. And then he said, you're no longer weak as women. Lift it right about here. Right about here, very easy. And then he said, plus fable qu'une femme. Lift it again. Really try this time, guys. Really try. Give it one last go. Let's try. There you go. Thank you so much. You can go back to your seats. And by the way, you're no longer weak as women. You're now weak as Frenchmen. Now, uh, some will look at history and tell you that uh, Robert Houdin helped stop a war. Others will tell you that he, he continued colonialism. But no matter what he did, he did it immorally. He did magic without consent. I'm going to tell you how he did it, too. He did it with a smaller box and just one Algerian warrior. And he used electromagnets, electromagnets in a, in a steel stage. But if we were asked to do this in the 21st century, with your consent, we would do it for France like this.